because I like to highlight my outer eyes. I keep my extra skincare and beauty products in these. So I just went in and blended it together with the new Pat Dark Star Mascara and Intensify Me Eyeliner. I had a really hard time working. Hi beauties, welcome back. So today is so exciting because we are gonna play with some more Estee Lauder makeup. I did a video recently for you guys reviewing the new Advanced Night Repair formula and you guys loved it. I got so many requests for, hey, what about Estee Lauder makeup? What do you think of Estee Lauder makeup? And to be honest, other than playing with some of my mom's makeup growing up, I haven't really used it in my adult life. So today we're gonna go through a foundation and concealer that are two of their kind of cult classic. So make sure before we get started that you subscribe because what I'm going to be doing is a four-part series of Estee Lauder products. So today we're going to be doing a foundation and concealer and then you guys will be able to see over the next three Thursdays. You'll also be able to see a review of their brand new cooling highlighters. I have two of those to try out for you guys as well as one of their mascaras, a lip liner, and a lipstick as well as another skincare video. So make sure to subscribe, hit that bell right next to the subscribe button because it's gonna be super exciting and I absolutely don't want you guys to miss it. So we're gonna go in, this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. This is one of those really kind of iconic full coverage makeups. It comes in a beautiful glass container. So this product retails for $43 and honestly the most common kind of critique of it I hear is that there is no pump included. Now for high-end product, a $43 foundation, most people want to see a pump. However, if that is really a deal breaker, but you're really wanting to try this foundation, I did look on their website. They do sell a pump separately for $10 that does fit this makeup. So if you really want to, you can go ahead and do that. I decided to skip it and I'm just going to use my fingers. So if you're looking to shade match with me, I'm using the shade 3N1, which is ivory beige. So I already have primer on my face and we're going to get this on my skin while we talk so you guys can see it. If you're looking for a foundation that is full coverage, going to going to cover up kind of any imperfections you have, guys, I think you're probably going to like this, but we will see how it does. Now, obviously, it's a little bit annoying to get on the skin because it doesn't have a pump. You see this little guy right here. I absolutely loved the Advanced Night Repair Serum. If you see my video, you'll see that I like it as kind of a week-long first impressions. I used it for a full another week, and I'm obsessed with it. Actually, while I did this order, I ordered another one because my skin is loving it. And I think now that I haven't had it on for a week, that's why I've got this little pesky little pimple. So I'm going to get going again with it and hope it clears that back up because my skin looked phenomenal after a couple weeks of using that. So as I dab this on my skin, this is definitely a more liquidy foundation than a lot you're gonna have. Um, some foundations are thicker, some are thinner. This is definitely a thinner formula. So let's see how it blends in. Get my hair out of the way here. Always a problem, right? Hopefully this is gonna be a shade match. While I'm blending this in, I got to give props to Estee Lauder because I ordered this whole order on, I think, a Saturday, and I received this at 11 o'clock last night, which was on a Tuesday. So kudos to them on their shipping. And for my order, at least shipping was free, which is always a bonus. Look at this box too. If you're looking for gifts, um, they include free gift wrap and I wanted to see what it was like. This box has like a metal enclosure. It comes so nice inside. Um, so if you're starting to look for Christmas presents and you're looking at Estee Lauder, get the free gift wrap because that box was stunning. It felt so bougie when I opened it. I felt so spoiled. So this is blending in really nicely. It's definitely offering full coverage to my skin. Looks like I got a good match, which is always good. So it looks like it covered up that blemish pretty well too. We'll add a little concealer, of course, to that. So I'm definitely going to let you guys know how this wears throughout the day. I'll update that down in the description box before I post the video. So take a look at that just to make sure it is kind of eight o'clock in the morning here for me. So I'm, I have a full day ahead of me. I'm going into work. 
So I will let you know what I think of how it wears, how it feels on my skin, how the coverage lasted, all of those good things. I'll put them down below for you guys. So for me, at least, I'm an oily skin girl. This is soaking in really well. It's not kind of sitting or super liquidy on my skin. I was worried with how liquidy of a formula it was that it was going to kind of sit on my skin weird, which I don't like. I like to do my kind of routine really quick in the morning, and I don't like when I have to wait for something to dry down or like sit there and fan my face. Um, I'm just not patient enough for that. So if you are, kudos to you or if you have drier skin. But this soaked in really nicely and dried down. It's not drying, but it did dry down in my skin, which I love. So now it's time to go in with concealer. The concealer that I snagged was the Estee Lauder Double Wear Radiant Concealer. They do have a few different concealers. They do have a stay in place concealer that goes exactly with this. I wanted to try the Radiant one. I've seen a little bit um, different reviews on it and I am going to use the shade 1N. Now it is definitely on the lighter side of the concealers. I think there might only be two concealer shades kind of lighter than this. So it's a nice big, nice big container. If you're familiar with concealers, it reminds me kind of exactly of the shape of the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. Let's check the doe foot out as well. That's always kind of the test. I hate small ones. Yeah, so nice big doe foot. Um, it, the shape of it is reminding me of the e.l.f. Concealer for sure. So let's get this on and try her out. So this formula actually seems a little bit thicker coming out of the container I expected to, especially compared to what the foundation was. So I, I don't know what that means yet, but it seemed to be a little thicker than other concealers that are packaged similarly. So I am going to blend this in and see how we do. I do always like to go pretty light on my concealer shade because I like to do a light bright under eye and but you certainly don't have to if you like to just do kind of a skin match you can absolutely just pick a shade that works to match your foundation and still just cover any under eyes or dark spots that you don't want seen without having kind of the light bright effect that i'm going for So it seems to be blending out nicely and seamlessly, which is good. I'm also not a girl that likes to spend five minutes blending my concealer. I don't got time for that, especially in the mornings when I'm doing my makeup before work. I just need things to work for me. So it does look like I got a good shade for concealer and foundation. So that is always good. It's always tough when you order something online that you've never used and you're trying to shade match it. So a tip, if you're not already aware, I'll just throw this in there. I use Sephora's website to shade match all the time. Now what that means is if you have a foundation that you use that you know is a shade match for you, you can go on to Sephora's website and go to just any. So I went into the Estee Lauder Double Foundation on Sephora and I pushed the button that said find my perfect shade and then I put in it basically asks you, I'm going to put a little bit on the pimple while we're talking. It basically asks you, hey, give me the foundation you're, you like, and then I'll find that same shade in whatever foundation you want to. So I went in and I put the long comb foundation in, and then Sephora matched it to this product for me. So it seemed to work. And then I just go over, if I'm not ordering it from Sephora, for instance, I ordered this directly from Estee Lauder then I'll just go in and find it on Estee Lauder's website. But I use that all the time. So little tip, if you didn't know that existed, I know they have a lot of shade match things on different websites for what's your undertone and what's this and what's that. I really like Sephora's one because I can just compare it directly to a foundation I already know and love. So far, so good. I'm really liking this combo so far. What do you think? I think it gave my skin a nice glow. It covered my skin really well. It covered my little blemish. So no complaints here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup just so you can see how it all blends together and see what the final look is and I'll be right back. All right guys, this is the finished look. So if you wanna see how I got to this end look, 
definitely hit that subscribe button so that you can see all the reviews of the different products that I have on my face from Estee Lauder. I'm going to be posting those over the next month every Thursday. I don't want you to miss them. I do think the foundation gave my face a really good base for everything else I put on my skin. Again, I'll let you know how it wears throughout the day. If you're not already following me over on Instagram, it's at Marinical Beauty. I'll definitely have more reviews and tutorials over there as well. So come join me. Let's be friends and have a good time. I can't wait for you guys to see all the next videos again every Thursday, Estee Lauder makeup reviews, and I'll see you next time. Bye.